Hello, this is Jessica Garza, Beauty Guide with Limelight by Alco. I'm working on a natural smoky eye right now, and I'm trying to hurry up because I have my kids. I don't know how long this will last. So, I've already started on one eye, and I started with this color right here. It's a peachy color that we carry, and I'm using this crease brush just to smoke it out, just like this. You just want to smoke it out. You want to use any kind of brush that is small tipped like this. And I just used a neutral tone because I'm trying to create a natural smoky light look. And now I'm going to go in with my blending brush. Blending is always key. Remember that whenever you have any harsh lines, blending is key. Just like that. Okay. And then, look at all my shades that I have. Aren't they lovely? They are amazing. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and get in with my eyeliner. Where are you? I should have had all my stuff ready, but this was like last minute. So this is my eyeliner. And I'm just going to, I don't know if I'm gonna do a wing or not because I'm not really comfortable with wings but let me try a small one. So you wanna try to put the liner as close as you can to your lash line. There you go. And whenever you're doing a wing, what you wanna try to do is, I know how to you know, describe it, but I, I'm not good at doing them. Um, when you're starting from the inner of your eye, you want that to be the smallest line, the thinnest, and then you want to make it thicker as it goes towards the end. As you guys can see, like that. And then I'm just going to bring up the little line like this, just like that and I'm bringing it downwards, just like this. And then I'm going to shade it in. Just like that. So that's my tiny wing that I've just created. Okay, so now I'm going to do my, I already did uh, foundation on this side, so let's go ahead and start on the other side. Just real quick, let me go ahead and remove all my eyeshadows from the top. And I have my concealer and foundation over here, and I already have my sponge ready to go. So I'm just going to put the concealer part first. Normally I do the opposite but I'm doing it different today. Because the smoky eye, you have to bring it downwards and then I would have to go over it with concealer and it's just gonna cover the bottom part. Okay, and then I'm just gonna put a small amount of my foundation and I'm just dabbing it. Just small little dabs. Just like this. This is going to be the fastest look, guys. <laughs> we'll see if I can get it, if I can pull it off without any interruptions from my kids. Okay, so there you go. And now I'm going to highlight a little bit on the bottom with my lightest concealer, which is Concealer Zero. And I'm just gonna bring it down like a V like this okay and now let's go ahead and bring out our eyeshadows back out look at this and where's my brush give me one second okay and then I'm going to use my brush right here for the lid oh my god my toddler I already hear her 
being mean to the baby. Oh no. Okay, so what you want to try to do is bring it a little bit higher so you can actually see the color. And then like a V, just like this. Time out. I need to make sure she's okay. Okay, that was nothing big. They're fighting over a brownie. Okay, so I just went ahead and smoked it out like this. And now I'm going to use my, where's my pointy little brush that I was working with a little while ago? My goodness. I can't find it. Okay, here it is. So I'm gonna use this brush right here. And I'm just going to bring it down this just so you guys can see so I'm bringing it down just to smoke it out with that same peachy color that we have bringing it out making it nice and smoky and thick just like that and then I'm going to go ahead and go in with pineapple of my eye this color right here it's like a yellow tone and I'm just gonna dab a little bit and I'm going to apply it in the inside and on the bottom just like this just dabbing it lightly just like that okay and then I'm going to use my blending brush right here and just blend any harsh lines that I may have out just like that okay and I'm gonna go back in to make it a little bit in here more of a darker color like the way I have on this side on the outer V of your eye just like that I see that so it's already smoked out nice and pretty now we're gonna go ahead and go in with the eyeliner perfect eyeliner where's my mirror and again you start off right on your lash line a very thin line if you're trying to work a wing Okay, so that's my thin line. Now I'm gonna go ahead and make it thicker. And you make it thicker, like I explained, um, just by kind of starting, not at the very beginning of the inner eye, but like in the middle, and you're making it thicker over the line that you had already done. Okay, and now I'm going to make that little little line to create the small wing just like this and I'm bringing it down and I'm just going to shade it in this eyeliner is so good with wings I mean I really like it because it's like a marker like like you can write your name you know it's like a marker so um it's so easy to make a wing a very thin line to make it thicker it's not something that's going to um, leak or it's not something that's going to dry and you're going to have to like peel it off it's not, not anything like that okay so there's my wing my little tiny wing 
And then now I'm going to add more pop to this natural smoky eye look because it's the spring so i'm going to go ahead and go in with this color right here and the spring it's the summer hello this color right here i'm just going to put it like on the inner part right here i just thought about it right now i think it's going to make it look very pretty you see that simple there we go it makes a big difference just adding a little blue on there I think it looks better okay and now I'm going to add my I was thinking about eyelashes but it's hard to put eyelashes on and I do it but it's embarrassing because it takes a long time and sometimes I really really screw it up so let me just go in with my perfect mascara I don't have to embarrass myself and you guys know it's a one-step fiber mascara it's water resistant so I'm just going to work all the way down towards the lash line starts and then upward just to lift them up because my lashes are little and they're downwards just like this shake it a little bit and go upward okay and now while that dries I'm gonna go with the other eye Shaking it around and then upward, shaking it around, upward. Upward. Okay, so it's a little bit thicker now. If you guys want the mascara, let me know because this mascara just came back in stock. And it's flying off the shelves like hotcakes. Okay, so now I'm gonna start in the middle of the lashes just to make them thicker and add some length. Just like that. So now I'm adding length, okay? And then after adding length, I'm gonna do a third coat Oh my God, I feel like my baby's gonna come in here right now. No! Give me a second, I'm almost done. Okay, so let's add a third quote. That's the last one. Let's let it dry a little bit. That's what you have to do whenever you wanna volumize your eyelashes. There we go. So I let it dry. And I'm going to do it again. But now just at the tips, just to Extend it, make it longer. See that? Extending it right at the tips. Okay, so that's that. And now I'm going to add some right on the lower lash line. I'm not gonna add any other coat because it's already good enough. Oops, I added too much right there. There. See that, it makes a big difference when you add just a little bit of mascara on your lower lash. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and do my bronzer, which is one of my favorite products. I just got it and I just, I'm so in love with it. But before I do that, I'm going to show you guys how to bake a little bit. Not how to bake cakes, but just how to bake. So I'm going to use the tip of my Blenderful to use our translucent powder. It's white, scary, but it's totally translucent. 
and it's just gonna work to set my makeup. And I'm just going to just leave it there, get thicker. And I'm gonna do that here on the T-zone. So if you're somebody who gets very oily skin on your T-zone or any part of your face, this would work wonderful to help you reduce any kind of oiliness and your makeup will stay intact. It's not just gonna fall off your face. So I have my translucent powder on. I'm not gonna brush it off yet, just yet. I'm going to go in with my bronzer and kind of like a small contour. I'm gonna use this brush right here. And this is our bronzer. Our bronzer took a long time to be made because the company was trying to find a bronzer that was like good for all skin types. So, let me just stop it because I put too much. I'm gonna start from the hairline down the cheekbone like this see that nothing too drastic and I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other side just like that and now I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit right over here on my forehead Bronzers are also so good guys, especially if you need color and you're not somebody who likes to tan or you just somebody who turns red instead of getting a little bit bronzy. This is a very nice way to get it. It adds a nice little hint of bronze to your skin. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and um, contour my nose because I don't like my nose. And I'm using the same brush. And I'm just going to use this brush right here. So when you're contouring your nose, you don't want to make a line on the outside. You want to make a line on top, small, thin. Because if you make it wide, your nose is going to look wide. Just like this. Okay, and now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this little poofy brush just to blend. Oh my god, my daughters are fighting. All the little lines that I made from the bronzer. Just like this. I'm just blending it upward in circular motions just like this doing that all around the forehead and I'm going to add more because I love bronzer now I'm going to use it as a blush and I'm putting it on my cheekbone you guys can see the difference like what it does to your face it makes your cheekbones stand out so I'm doing that over here as well oh my goodness my toddler Isn't it crazy how babies, sisters, they fight all the time? I remember me and my sister. Okay, so now I'm going to add blush. This is blush number five. It has a little shimmer to it, so I'm gonna use the same brush. I'm just going to dab lightly because it's so pink and I'm putting it over the cheekbone as well but not taking away from that bronze oh my gosh sisters sisterly love give me one second be right back my daughters are fighting Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Nobody's pulling each other's hair. Okay, so I was applying the blush right over the cheekbone, but I wasn't going to take away 
anything that I applied from the bronzer because that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to add a little bit of color. like this do that over here a little bit more you want to try to like pucker your lips up because that's where you can see you see that your cheeks and it makes it easier to know where to put it okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my highlighter to highlight a little bit so my highlighter is right here. I have it right here. Da, da, da. And the way I like to use that one is by spraying our setting spray. And then you just kind of like brush all over it. See that? You can already see it on there. And then use my mirror right here and you just apply a small little amount. Can you guys see that? You can see the highlight. And it's such a subtle highlight, it's not gonna be something, you know, so crazy. I mean, there's others out there that are pretty crazy, but this is so subtle. You can make it, you know, crazier if you want just by adding it up more and more, but not today. Okay, and now I'm going to go ahead and highlight down the bridge of my nose just to give it a little pop, just like that. And the last thing I'm going to do is my lips. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and remove my translucent powder, just like this. All right, now let's go ahead and do the lipstick. Let's see which one am I going to use today. To be honest, I'm probably just going to use a lip gloss because this lip gloss is so gorgeous. It's pretty new. Um, it just launched recently and it's perfect. It's like the perfect like nude pink gloss and I, I just really like it. I'm not a gloss person, but this color in particular is one that I'm like, I'm hooked on. Like I have to get more. See this? The little wand and it has these little stones right here in the little mirror. So I'm just gonna apply it. You see it isn't that pretty? I love this pink. It's also not like sticky. It's not gonna, like there's some glosses that are so sticky. This one's not like that. There you go. You guys see that? Love it, isn't it gorgeous? It's such a pretty color. And then I'm going to add my primer 10 years younger it lasts up to 16 hours I posted a picture this past week of South Texas heat 99 degrees with makeup at noon o'clock and all the way to like 9 I still had my makeup on I was just missing my my gloss so there you have it. This is just a natural smoky look. Go ahead and watch it from the beginning if you wanna see how I did it. Pretty fast, pretty easy, and if you wanna make it, you know, let's say at night you're gonna go out and you're like, mm, you know, you don't wanna take off everything. All you have to do is put a dark brown or even a black right in the inner crease and then just bring it down slowly and that's it. So you've already darkened your smoky look. So you guys have a great day, share my videos. I'm gonna go ahead and post one on my YouTube channel today. It should be up there at least around nine. You guys have a great day.